Hey guys, how you doing? It's me, Dr. Nacho, again here at the Standard Chiropractic. I'm here with my beautiful wife, Claudia. <laughs> and I also have Alexa on camera, my daughter Alexa. She's filming with us today. Hi. And, oh, did you say hi? Yeah, okay, good job. So today we're going to talk about um, what I take when I travel. What supplements do I take when I travel? Because I've had a lot of questions from my patients as to what do I take when I travel. And there's a couple things I take. The supplements that I take is... The first one is the vitamin D, vitamin D3 from NutriWest. That is really good. I take it because it, it helps promote the absorption of calcium for your bones. It's great for an anti-inflammatory, so it helps reduce inflammation. It's great for your cell growth. And the other one that's really good for, it's really good for immune. The next one that I take is a vitamin B12. B12 is fantastic. It's uh, great for energy. It's great for concentration, memory, uh, your circula circulatory system. Uh, and I also take it in a methylated form. The methylated form is really cool because a lot of people can absorb certain types of vitamin Bs. When it's in a methylated form, your body absorbs it a lot quicker, so it's a lot easier to, uh, to get all those nutrients. Uh, the good thing about vitamin B12 is when you're outside, when you're traveling, you're going to be drinking. So, and if you do drink too much, I'll take about four tablets of the vitamin B12, and the next day I'll feel a lot better than when, if I didn't take it. The next one that I do take a lot is Congoplex. Congoplex we use a lot in our house, especially in the flu season, because Congoplex does amazing for flus, for colds, viruses, or just any unknown infection. So I take the Congoplex when I travel as a preventive measure. Um, the next one is sesame seed oil, and I started taking that one recently. Sesame seed oil is fantastic because it's an antioxidant. It helps with your immune, which almost all these that I take helps your immune. It's really good for your liver. It promotes healthy liver, and it's good all around for your circulatory system. So those are the supplements that I take when I go. The best part about being married to Claudia, my wife, beautiful <laughs> wife, is that she's really into the essential oils, and she sets me up a little first aid kit uh, on essential oils, which are fantastic. So tell them what you, uh, what you give me. Well, I have my doTERRA first aid kit that I always send Ignacio with, and the it's only seven things. Uh, I keep it simple. Men, they don't like to carry a lot of stuff. So, um, so I'll do, the first one will be on guard. That will help you with the immune system. And, you know, if you're in an airplane, there's a lot of germs, viruses, whatever. So you can, you know, you can protect yourself with that. Oh, yeah, because, you know, in the airplane, yeah, you got that guy right. next to you and he's been coughing the whole time. So, yeah, so that will help you for that, exactly. you know. So you can put it in your hands as, as a hand sanitizer, your body, whatever, your neck. And then the other one will be lavender. That's always a must. It helps you really relax. Uh, it helps you with um, is um, to sleep at night if you have a problem, mm -hmm. you have anxiety. And the other thing will be like you have mosquito bites. Here we have so many, so it will help Very you uh, with the itchy feeling. The other will be melaleuca. Sometimes your immune system, when you're traveling, your immune system gets so weak, and then some people get sore, uh, cold sores. Cold sores, yeah. And um, if you start applying that right away, you're just gonna kill it. So yeah, but melaleuca is amazing for cold yeah. sores. It will go away that same day or in two yeah. days. They call it's it. It's also good. called tea tree oil. The other one will be peppermint. That will help you. Like it's like a energy uh, uh, for. It's like a the brain boost. The brain of, boost. Yeah. Also help you with headaches. And also with um, you know, would you take it instead of gum? So you used to use. Oh yeah, because yeah. Uh, right now DoTerra has these really cool peppermint beadlets. Yeah. Uh, some of the products from Doterra are in beadlet forms, little pill forms that you take. And I take it a lot because for having good help, good breath, I'll take the peppermint instead of gum. Uh, a couple of years ago, I found out that gum had a lot of aspartame, a lot of artificial uh, sweeteners. And it has phenylalanine, and that's really bad for you. It's really bad for your health, really bad for your gums and everything. But now I take the peppermint. And it, it does a couple things. I mean, I take it for, for good breath, and it also helps me with my digestion and everything yeah. like that. It's a good little brain boost. Yeah, the other one would be the lemon. You help it with the mood. And also, it's like purify, uh, water, purify, it's what, water purification. So it gives you that taste of lemon in your water. So when you travel around, just can, you put a couple of yeah. drops in there. And Especially in those like, restaurants at the water. And, and it tastes terrible. so good. It helps you so, to, your, to your immune system. Mm -hmm. The other one will be breathe. Sometimes you get so congestion, so that will help you to clear your airways. And the last one will be Correct X. It's just a, it's like a substitute of the Neosporin. And if you have a minor cut, so you have a scratch, whatever, it will help you heal it right away. And the other good thing about taking those um, oils is like, uh, in case you have an allergy reaction to some of you yeah. know, food, whatever, instead of taking Benadryl, oh, you, can, you can take a, um, like a, 
shot of Venadryl kind of like moving like a substitute is mixing the melaleuca, lavender, lemon, and peppermint. Two drops of each every hour, whatever you need it, till the system, the system, 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 the system starts, you know, uh, going away. The sim symptoms, 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 symptoms. symptoms. Start getting away. And also, if you have like this pollen thing, you know, the allergies, you can just use. Um, it will be the lemon. I think it's a yeah. Is the peppermint, the lemon, and the lavender. This three will be like a perfect for allergies. You can diffuse her. You can put them in a, you know in your in your like a roller, and that's it. So you just need those things to survive the whole vacation. We went on vacation mm -hmm. for a whole month, and none of the family got sick. Thank God. So yeah, okay. we're doing something good. Yeah, we also have a separate first aid kit for my uh, mother. Yeah. So we have a separate one for. Uh, Elderly Old, people. Older people. Older. Not elderly. Wiser people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's what we take. Also, um, I don't think we'll do it in the next video because this video is getting, getting kind of long. But uh, Claudia also does it in a roller. So a lot of times I'll just roll it on my um, on my neck, on my arms, or maybe on my feet, depending on where, not, where I'm at. It's a really another really good way to take these uh, essential oils. We'll probably do that in another video. But uh that's about it. Yeah, that's okay. about it. Yeah, so tell us what you think, if you got any comments, or even write down what you take when you travel. All right, thanks guys. See you on the next video. Bye.